big old links. Look at that. Look at that. Well, folks, Tazan Lake. You gotta come here to catch trout like this. That is an amazing fish. Rain, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We're so glad you tuned in to join us for another exciting real world outdoor adventure right here on A Sportsman's Life. We are here. The group uh, that's uh, loading now is loading up on the plane we came in on. And we are here. Tazan Lake Lodge. Absolutely gorgeous place. Accommodations. Here is our room. A couple of cabins down that way. One behind us. Then the main lodge. Let's take a peek at the accommodations here. Nice little uh, place burning heater and uh, nice little bedroom this will work yes yes nice right, we are in the main lodge getting ready for dining at Tazan Lake Lodge and I just want to show you folks what we're after mm -hmm. oh yes the big Lakers show we have a special adventure for you today this is mr. Barry Prawl we're on Tazlin Lake Lodge up in northern Saskatchewan you know the home of the monster monster lake trout now I've never caught a big lake trout I've caught a few small ones you know but we're just beginning our show uh, Barry this this scenery around here is awesome he said the the wind had Two days ago, the wind had blown a bunch of bait up in this bay. Yeah. I bet we're going to catch some, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be a good day. We, uh, Like I say, this is the Abato River, and uh, wind was blowing in here all day yesterday, so fish should be stacked up. We should have a good day. Well, I say we stop talking and start fishing. How about that? Sounds great. Jeff, have you hooked one, buddy? Just hooked up there, my friend. I see that rod, bro. It didn't take two minutes. We, we haven't been here two minutes. Two minutes max. Oh, let's see what you got oh, here, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two minutes into the end of the battle. Yeah. Look at that. Barry's bringing him in here. Uh, he's, what a beautiful fish. Oh, oh boy. Out of his mouth into his eye or something. Yeah, these little lake trout, they, uh, they really will take swipes at the. Uh, that's a pretty fish. I tell you, since it's the first one, Jeff, I'd like you to get a picture. Of you. you get in there and let's take a look at this thing. You in? Let's do that, all right. Taz and Lake, folks, we have been here a maximum fishing of two minutes. And let's take a look at that good eating. You know, our friends listening, 
know that we're all about eating a few eaters. Look at the color, Luke. That is a beautiful fish. Okay. All right, should we let them go? Here we go. Well, Barry, one, two minutes and, and you, you're on target. Let's, we'll catch some more. So. Yeah, that's right. Look at that, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, he's a nice one. Pretty. Yes, sir. Pretty fish. We'll get some. Well, that's my first, maybe my first lake trout ever, right there. I think maybe in Colorado I caught some small ones years ago, but the beautiful fish. And Absolutely gorgeous fish. Look at the yeah. colors. We're going to get some of these, and uh, Chef Steve back at the camp, we're going to brine them and smoke some, some lake trout. So, but this one here, we can let him go. Oh, he's going down into the water. It's swimming. Links, look at that. Brought to you by Dallas Safari Club conservation, education, and hunter advocacy. Hornaday, accurate, deadly, dependable. Taurus Firearms, maker of the Raging Hunter. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. That's trout right? there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pike is on. Yeah, that's trout. Uh -huh. One heck of a shore lunch. There's, more, a lot, there's some nice pieces here. Look at that. That's a basic Jeez. shore lunch there. Beautiful. Where is it? Not here. Here. We are here on Lake Pazin and we've got Steve. Steve's our culinary, he's our chef. And of course, now turned guide. We're going out, we're gonna spend the day on the water. We're gonna do a little uh, trout fishing, but uh, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a little fly rod fishing for some northern pike. So Steve here's uh, kind of an expert at that from what I understand. And we're gonna go out there and see if we can't get on a few northern pike with fly rod. So stay tuned, we got another beautiful day. This is day two of our trip and um, there's been some really nice fish caught. I think there's been a couple, three or four, 40 plus pound lake trout caught. And uh, we're not looking for the big ones today. We're looking for something to put on the smoker. So That's Steve, our, is that our goal? Yeah, Steve and Luke are going to whip up a little uh, uh, segment on smoking uh, some lake trout, maybe some northern pike. And uh, that's going to be fun. So that's coming up here. But you guys ready to get out there and make something happen? 
Your old cameraman is ready to go right Let's here. Let's do this. Ready for fishing. How about that, having a, having a train chef, man, that is just too cool. And a smoker behind the yeah. lodge. And just an overall and, good guy. We've got to meet uh, Steve here, and Steve, he's yes. a lot of fun. So And, and to have the confidence, to, Steve already has the marinade made, ready. So we'll just go catch some fish. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Alrighty, we've got our fly out there. Steve's trying to catch one on a fly rod right here, folks. Looks good going through the water there, Steve. Back fly fishing again here. There's a big one. You see a big one back there? They're definitely here. They are. They're definitely in here. I thought that one was going to grab. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Got it. Oh! Come on, baby. There's a trout down there too. See him? To the left. Yeah. Let's see if we can get on him there. Side catch. Yeah, look at that. He's right down there below. Right underneath. That one. Sorry, hit it on top of the water. Can you believe that? Yeah. There you go. Hook up. Okay. On a fly rod. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Buddy, on a fly rod. Hey Steve, good job. Probably gonna have to back her up here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Ready? You wanna go back? Look at that, beautiful. Nice job, Steve. Let's get some more. Okay, a MEPS. We might have to back up here. Cyclops right there. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. Isn't that a pretty fish? Gorgeous. Well, there we go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put him... Well, that one's going with us, so... Oh, no, that's right. He's going to be become some smoked fish. A Sportsman's Life is also brought to you by Air Force Air Guns, AGM Global Vision, H3 Whitetail Solutions, Pyramid Air, Gear the Hunt, and Horizon Smokers. All right, check it out, guys. Late July, late Texoma. These fish right now are on the light switch bite. It's on or it's off. Right now we're waiting in the back of one of these coves for these big stroppers to come run these gizzard shad. They've been doing it every morning, but boy, you have to be there when it happens. Because if you're not there when it happens, you need to get on your gas and go looking. You've seen this before, huh, Dad? Yeah, you got a running gun. It's the only time of year that the guide, advantage fish, the guide is fighting the clock from the get-go. So let's go get some right now. Conservation Today is brought to you by Hayden Outdoors Real Estate, the brand that sells the land. Visit HaydenOutdoors.com to find or sell your farm, ranch, or recreational property. One of the necessities that's often forgotten when it comes to wildlife, or even cattle, is the necessity of water. Water is, <laughs> is imperative when it comes to anything having to do with life, but as far as water is concerned, there's all kinds of sources. You can have water troughs, windmills, you can have huge what we used to call pilas that gravity flow to a water trough somewhere else, but you can have some kind of a natural water source. 
wildlife seems to do better there than they do anyplace else. So if you got an opportunity to maybe cause a, a little bit of a, a creek to maybe dig a little bit deeper, kind of what we've done right here on my little place, is to make sure that there's water. Now as far as distribution of that water, we're fortunate where I live, but in a lot of other places, I make sure that there is water source available, readily available to wildlife, or particularly if livestock's involved, for every mile. I don't want that animal to travel any farther than a mile. So if he's there a mile apart, that means it's a half mile travel. All right, we're bringing it to you live. Rain has got one on. The bourbon is producing, huh? You're not camera shy, are you? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit? Okay. Still there? I know, I think it's gone. Huh, Dad did the same thing. Reeling. Might just sometimes they swim towards you, you know. Yeah. Make sure he's not swimming at you. An absolutely gorgeous evening here. Oh, look at this. You like there's anything on there? Bit of reeling, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Once he sees that boat, probably, huh? <laughs> right. right over your shoulder here. You got this! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> that a girl. Knock it out. Sweet. Girl, hang on. For all of our viewers out there, Tazan Lake, Tazan Lake Lodge, folks, you gotta come out here and do this. Giant lake trout. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about right here. Rain is gonna show us how it's done. Out fishing the boys. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> Is he wearing you out there a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fighter. Guessing it's a good one. It's putting up a fight. Yeah, it sure is. 
The sun's just dipping over the mountain top tops over there. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful evening. Yes, yes. Good times. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I think we got a nice fish here, folks. This one's a fighter. If you want giant lake trout, Tazan Lake, this is the place to do it. All right, I see the, oh yeah, got your weights there, so he's coming in, he's coming up here. He's only taking another run, that's okay. I see him below us, he's yeah. good, he's a good fish. Right here, he's coming in. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my goodness. He's a biggie. He's a biggie, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gracious. <laughs> Rain, good job. Woo! Look at that. Girl, you killed it. Look at that. That's awesome. Barry, how, you, how big do you think that one is? Well, he's probably 25, 30 pounds. He's, uh, I'd say, about 44 inches. Nice. Here, Very nice. Absolutely fantastic. That's what you come to Tazan Lake for. Catch. Oh, oh my gosh. Just Absolutely gorgeous lake trout. Bird. They grow giants up here. And that's just one beautiful fish. Barry, is there anything I can do to help? No, I don't he just swallowed that bourbon. And oh, he did? Yeah. Big fish like that doesn't surprise me. Net, so. well, Barry's trying to unhook him there and just kind of give you a, a view here. Sun has just gone over the little hilltop over there and absolutely gorgeous evening. Look at this.
back to the action here. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Okay. All right, girl, you got to get a hold of that fish because we got to get it on film here. Yeah. 37. 37. Nice. All right, we, what, what is he? 37. 37, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Well, folks, Tazan Lake, you got to come here to catch trout like this. That is an amazing fish. Rain, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well deserved. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, All right. Bike. Let's watch him. Watch him go on back here. Yeah. Fantastic. He's ready too. He's yeah, ready. you wore him out. There he goes. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> One right here. Crazy. Nice. Isn't that crazy awesome? <laughs> <laughs> nice work all right <laughs> Woo. folks thanks so much for joining us this segment of our show is brought to us by gearhead archery snaplock hunting blinds smoking text electric smokers trhp outdoors ultramatic feeders and catfish pro catfish bait and catfishing supplies make sure and tune in next week we'll have another exciting show ready to go for you